What up, Tube You YouTube? It's your boy Diesel over here, aka Leader of the Negro Rangers. Say it again, the Leader of the Negro Rangers, protecting the ball that is uh right with the um you know the people. Um, anyway, I got some special for y'all today. Today's video. You know what, before I tell you what the video is, let me set the scene for y'all. Let me paint the picture. You know, get all up in your mental mind. You know, the other day I was laying in my bed, all black in my room, it was pitch black. I was depressed, crying myself to sleep after the Eagles lost. It was a dark time for me, sad time for me, bleak time for me. But that ain't what the video is about, okay? Video today is about football. And while I was crying myself to sleep, I thought to myself, man, I still gotta put a video on. What am I gonna do a video on? No, no, that not no more. I can't do no. I'm not getting Madden, so won't be no Madden videos on the channel. So what else can I do with football? Related? And I said, you know what? People love my opinions. My people, my family love hearing what I think about stuff. So you know what? Why don't I just do that? And I was like, you know, what? I'll just wrap up the whole week's worth of video. Uh, I almost said video games. I almost said weeks worth of video games. Look at that. I will wrap up the week's worth in a fail games and you know give y'all my opinion on each game individually so y'all can know where I'm at and y'all can know what what and what not to believe in because I'm gonna give you the truth because I love you and you know that's what I'm here for all right y'all let's get started wait before we get started let me just take a drink from my uh my strawberry kiwi fruit sparkling fruit water I'll just take a little little sip a little swig Mm. Mm. Yes, this um, food water is mighty tasty and delicious as well. Also, zero calories, so you know it's not fattening. Mm, mm, mm. That, that quenches your thirst. Anyway, back to the story at hand. Our first game of week one of the NFL is the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the New England Patriots. Now, I'm going to let you know right off the bat, for all these games that I do, uh, I'm going to let you know who I like and who I don't like. I'm not a fan of either one of these teams. Could not care less who would be. That's, that's not what you're here for. What you're here for is a professional, concise opinion of this game. Let me wrap it up for you real quick. He's first still his defense, not what they used to be. Uh, Big Ben is Big Ben. He did I. He had a good game. Uh, Patriots cheat. Then um, they going to win because they cheat. They're going to cheat so they can win. That's that's about all I got for that game. All right, next game is Miami Dolphins versus Washington Redskins. There ain't much to say here. Miami's got a good young quarterback in Tannehill. They got uh, some good young receivers, and they added Dominic and Sue to the defense, stripping up the defense. But let's be real here. They're not going to be able to beat the Patriots. So who cares how good their team is? They're still not going to beat the Patriots. They're still going to be tied for second in the NFC East. Who cares? Next, Washington Redskins. Uh, they're trash. They've been trash forever. I don't remember them. It's been a while since they've been good. Um, their owner... Seems to hate black quarterbacks, so he doesn't give them any type of way to succeed. Nobody to throw the ball to, and nobody to block for him. So there you go. That's the end of that one. Next game, please. All right, uh, the next game on our list is the Indianapolis Colts versus the Buffalo Bills. And it seems like the f yeah the first four games I'm gonna talk about in this video are all teams from the AFC East. That's the New England Patriots, the Buffalo Bills, the New York Jets, and the Miami Dolphins, all in the same division. And I'm not going to put an asterisk by all these games because all these teams I just listed, they're all going to be second to the Patriots. Not because I like the Patriots, but because the Patriots cheat. That's what they do. Right, whatever. Move on to the game. Colts versus Bills. Bills pulled it out. Uh, wasn't really a close game. Um, Bills got a good young team. They're, they're, they're really putting something together. I don't think they have any. They got that Stevie Johnson dude. That dude a beast at wide receiver. And they got a good young quarterback. There ain't much to say about them. They're still not going to beat the Patriots, so who cares? Um, the Colts, you know them. They they got Andrew Luck, their new golden boy. He's supposed to replace Peyton. He's good. He's, he's really he's really good, actually. But um, 
they lost so I guess Andrew wasn't so lucky <laughs> uh, next game All right, next game is the Cleveland Browns versus the New York Jets now Asterisk again because the Jets are in the AFC East, like I said earlier. Like, we just gonna play whack, they're not gonna do nothing. But they did get a big win. Excuse me, that's that fruit wire. Do -do -do. But they did get a big win over the Cleveland Browns, but the Cleveland Browns trash too. Um, they, I don't, I don't think the Cleveland Browns have ever been good in the amount of time I've been watching football, which is about like more than 20 years. So, they're trash again. Surprise. Um, I will give a shout out to their starting quarterback, Josh McNow, who got Johnny Manziel in the game pretty freaking early. Um, the, he, I'm not going to show the highlight because I don't know how NFL feels about me putting their, you know, they strict about uh, people using their clips for anything, so I'm not even going to risk it. But there was this play early in the first quarter, I believe, where he goes to dive. You've probably seen it. If you if you haven't, just type in Josh McNown dives for touchdown in YouTube, and you'll probably find it. But he dives in the end. He, was try, he, he didn't even dive. Like, he just flew in the air trying to dive for this touchdown, and he gets rocked. And concussion. He fumbles. He don't get the touchdown. They don't even get the yardage. So it was all for nothing. But, you know, he, he had a concussion. He set the rest of the game out. And Manziel came in, and he did decent. I think he scored two touchdowns. Um, and they tried to come back, but it was it was over by then. Uh, all serious, you know. Uh, I hope Josh McNown's okay because that was a really tough hit. Like I'm not dead serious. Right? He got hit pretty hard. It's just quarterback should fight that hard for it. Like it was a touchdown that didn't matter that much at the time. It's a bad play, but if he's hungry and he died for it, I can't knock the man for that. But prayers go out to him and his family. I think that's all I got to say about that game. So, uh, next game, please. Alright, the next game on the list is Kansas City Chiefs versus the Houston Texans. I always thought that was goofy. In Houston, Texas. With the Houston Texans. Not very creative. Anywho, um,. This game, another game I didn't really care about, not a fan of either team. Uh, it's funny though because the Houston Texans are the newest team in the league. They're the newest expansion team. And at first, they were trash for a long time. I mean, you expect an expansion team to be trash. That ain't no shock. Ain't no surprise. But, excuse me. Um, out of nowhere, they got really good for some reason. And they were good for like two, maybe three years? And now they're back to being trash again. I mean, they used to have like one of the top four or five most unstoppable receivers in the game in Andre Johnson. And they the defense was really good. And they still got J.J. Watt. He had a good game. I think he had like nine tackles. But I, I don't know why they suck now. They just you don't expect them to do anything. And they, they lost to Kansas City, who I remember last year. Like, Kansas City. I don't like because they took my head coach. As you know, I'm an Eagles fan, and we used to have Andy Reid, greatest coach ever. <clears throat> and he moved to Kansas City, and the first year there, they started off like 12 and 0 or something like 12 or 13 and 0. So it was like, oh my God, Andy reached this genius, and the Eagles are idiots for letting him go. Look at him; he's got this team unstoppable. I don't know what happened to them. They just kind of trailed off. They just went. Like, I mean, they're okay. They're not terrible. They're not great either. They're in the AFC West, I believe. Yeah, and that's with the Chiefs, the Dolphins, the Chargers. It's the Chiefs, the Chargers, the Broncos, and the Raiders. That's what it is. Um, yeah, so they're probably... Broncos are probably going to win a division. They're probably going to be close. Well, charges. We're not talking about division discussions right now. We do it at a later time. Today we just done. And they, they won. It was, I don't know, it was a simple little easy game. They won, blah, blah, blah. Next game, please. All right, the next game we got is the Carolina Panthers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, you got the Carolina Panthers. They, uh... The, the Jacksonville Jaguars now they um J 
Shout out my boy Cam Newton. Next game. This is probably one of the most competitive games of the week. Really close, all the way I think it's the only one that went in the overtime this game. Being kind of a rain, so I'm going to come to so I wish you made my team, but he was all day, but he was fighting the high goal. I, I'm, I'm from St. Louis, so I look for the Rams. I want them to win when they're not playing my Eagles. Anybody else have a good one? It probably didn't seem like they were going to be competitive. It seemed like, yeah, the Seahawks, they had it. Yeah. They wouldn't score on that first, but it's like, man, yeah, they were. They, it seemed like the Rams were outclassed at first. But I don't know, they found they played by my boy, uh, Nicky Foles, the golden boy, former Eagle. You know how we do. Um, but he. They were led by him. More importantly, though, they thirsted in the Rams. Third string running back, uh, Cunningham. I can't remember his first name, but Cunningham. That dude was running really good. I, think, I never heard of the dude. So when he came, because they first two guys are hurt. Like, one of them, they, they main dudes just straight up hurt. And the second string got hurt, but not that bad. So he got some carries. But he didn't start. It started when I was a chicken, I picked up a pen and said that I wanted to rap. Man, bro, in the school, he wanted the same. He picked up a pen and we started to rap. Years went by, we brought up a group. My brother came in and we started to trap. Flipping these words and whipping the beat. Hitting the stool, him in this crack. Now months went by. Met a few niggas we clicked. I called him my brother. We turned on a regular. Then was my niggas in trouble. We called each other. Then I heard niggas been switching and talking to niggas and telling them all about my moves. It's really not cool. Had to confront all them niggas and tell them that's not how we move. Word of balance that dog. Try to be low you, but niggas keep showing me they really ain't for you. Now we just went by. Lost a few niggas from jealousy. Lost a few niggas from real. Been rapping this thing and get out the field. Why niggas been trapping this thing in the field? Rap shit my life, man. I do this for real. No matter that hate, I'ma always prevail. But back at the crib, I shut the red door. How they get money? Give me your one boss. Like one of these days, I'ma get M's and put us in Rory and put us in Mans. There's no reason I could and I got up and got it. We ain't making no fun of it. We talking about sports. We ain't here to make fun of you. It's all sports. All right. Alright, so y'all need to come with that game. It's a good game though. Very good game. Congratulations to the one that y'all did that thing on that one. Let's go St. Louis. We up. Next game, please. Alright. Next game on the list is the Chicago Bears versus the Green Bay Packers. This is a, the, the, only the second division game. Um, of the week one, the first one being the Rams versus Seahawks division game. And this division game, AFC North. Uh, I'm sorry, NFC North. And this is probably one of one of the one of the bigger rivalries of the of football. And it was it was a normal rivalry game, close. It wasn't a blowout. Aaron Rodgers won like he normally beats Chicago. I think he's only lost to them like maybe two or three times his whole career. But he beat them like he normally do. Threw a bunch of yards, threw a few touchdowns. He did what he normally do. Uh, Cutler, quarterback for the Bears, did what he normally do: throw a touchdown and then throw a pick. That's what he do. Uh, I, that's that's really they didn't really run the ball that much either team. Um, I don't, you don't expect much out of either defense. I, I, what else you want me to say, bro? We good. All right, next game, please. All right, the next game we got, y'all, yeah, is the Detroit Lions versus the San Diego. The San Diego. Superchargers. Yeah, I ain't got much to say about this game. It was a competitive game. The Chargers pulled it out at the end. Um, both quarterbacks threw touchdowns. Both quarterbacks threw interceptions. That's, that's, about, that's about all I got. Uh, any Lions fans want to say anything? No? What about Chargers fans? You? Uh, you? Nothing? Alright, if we move on to the next game. Alright, thanks. Moving on, next game. Alright, next game we got is. You see me doing a Birdman rub? Yeah. Next game we got is the uh, New Orleans Saints versus the Arizona Cardinals. I, uh, ain't got much to say about this one. Uh, Saints won. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Cardinals, why well, I said Saints? The Aints. Uh, the, the Arizona Cardinals won. Um, Carson Palmer threw like three touchdowns. None of them were to Fitzgerald. 
Oh, the Saints are terrible like they usually are since they got caught cheating. Look, the Saints are a perfect example of what happens to a team that cheats in the NFL and gets caught, but the NFL ain't scared of you. Unlike some other team that constantly gets caught cheating and never gets in any trouble. I ain't gonna say no names though. <laughs> next game, please. All right, next game we got is the Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos. All right, this game um, held a little bit more for me than the other games I went over because I actually kind of like both of these teams. I like a huge root form, wore a uniform type of like them, but not sure for both of the teams. They both had players now and in the past that I really like and support. But this game was probably one of the more boring games of the uh, no I guess if you like defense this is a good game because there were no offensive touchdowns scored there was two there was only two total touchdowns scored one by each team they were both off interceptions and they didn't happen until the like the third quarter I think so I mean if you like defense then this was your game right here uh, defense all day I don't know how Flacco and Peyton Manning weren't capable of throwing a touchdown between them. But you know what? Next game, please. The next game is the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Oakland Raiders. The AFC matchup here. Oakland sucks. Next game. The next game we got on our list. The Tennessee Titans versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <sighs> Tennessee Titans versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know what? I'm, I'm going to just get it out of the way. Two rookie quarterbacks faced off here. One looked terrible. Oh, let me preface this by saying one of the quarterbacks, and I ain't going to say no names here. And I'm going to let you figure it out on your own. One of the quarterbacks, two rookie quarterbacks here got their first NFL starts on both teams got the first NFL starts there for one of them his very first throw as a professional quarterback in the NFL was an interception <laughs> so that was one of the quarterbacks the other quarterback looked really good and surprisingly I don't know if he looked really good or if the other team's defense was just terrible I don't know next game please next game we got on the list is the New York Giants versus the Dallas Cowboys I hate both of these teams. Next game, please. You know what? <laughs> I, I, I can't do it, man. I thought I could do it. I, <laughs> get it out of my face, man. All right, in the final game of the night, the last game that was on Monday night at about like 10 o'clock, it was a super late game, uh, was the 49ers versus the, the San Francisco 49ers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota bummed it up, uh, of course. 49ers won it easily. There's not much to say in this game. Uh, the, the 49ers, they had some dude I've never heard of. When I first saw they start lining up, I was like, who did? Because I didn't even know they lost Frank Gore after the game. I didn't even know they lost Frank Gore, but I was like, okay, who's their starter running back? Then if they ain't got Frank, and they showed some guy, I was like, I've never heard of this dude. But he immediately was running all over him. So I don't know if that says he's a beast or if that says the defense is terrible. I'm not sure, but I mean, he had like almost 170 yards for um, like 20 attempts. So that can't be all. Like, it can't be. I mean, he's got to be good, right? That many yards? That's ridiculous. Vikings are terrible. Speaking of running the ball, I mean, Peterson didn't have no burly in the yards. I don't remember what the number was, but he had burly in the yards. And the fool, he only had 10 carries, though. Like, seriously? Hey, this is Adrian Peterson here. We're giving 10 carries to. Uh, uh, spoiler alert here. The Vikings lost. <laughs> 10 carries for uh, Peterson and you lost. What a surprise here. Anyway. Yeah, it was the last game. But it's so super ironic that the last game of the season was... I said last game of the season. The last game of Monday night was so... Uh, again, it was... I don't know. Vikings are trash. 
Uh, Bridgewater, they quarterback who's young. Know, this is the second season. He had like 30 attempts. And why he didn't have a terrible game? He had a good game. He just didn't get in the end zone. Should have been more. Anyway, just like the Seahawks, should have been more rushing attempts for the running back. But yeah, that's all I got to say. San Francisco won an easy game. All right, y'all. That's it for wrapping it up with Dizo. This has been week one of the NFL. Uh, pretty exciting. I love football. The offseason is entirely too long. I'm glad it's back. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to comment. Please comment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've disrespected your team out there. More than likely, I've disrespected your team. And if you got something to say about how I feel about your team, please put it in the comments. I want the comments so bad. I can't wait to hear the flag I get from me talking bad about people's teams. If you want, I'll do a whole video about why I don't like whatever team you like. Because chances are, I don't like them. Um, but anyway, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, please. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's these are the great on both of them. I'll probably put a link somewhere like right here to both of them. Um, yeah, just appreciate y'all watching, man. Thanks. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Stay crispy. Love y'all. Real Brief Productions.